This is Michael Thomas. It is 2 a.m. on the 19th of April, 2023. I use the night time to swim over to Scalisti Island in the hope of finding some supplies, ammo, weapons, something that will help me in my mission when I get down to Chernogorsk in scouting out and looking for these militias that are taking advantage of innocence. Talking of innocence to the family of Soki Falco. If you come across these tapes or these messages, then your brother, your father, your son did die to my hand. But don't aim your anger or your grief at me. Aim it at the government whose inaction created me. They created the monster. They provided the incubation for hate. And now I will continue to record. As I loot around this island looking for supplies. I feed my belly. By fishing. we see what we've got so far. I found a rifle. Car 98. No ammo. But it's a start. Picked up a couple of fishing hooks along the way now. Real fishing hooks. So we should be able to get some fishing done. With relative ease. And I picked up a badly damaged magazine for my carbine rifle, which had one round in it. So now we could actually hunt person or animal. I've no particular preference. I've dried off in this log cabin when I got over to the other side. Swimming in the pitch black was a doozy. Not for the faint of heart. And although it's dark out, the sun is going to be in our favour soon. And there might be an argument. There would be no one as brave or stupid or both as I was to take the swim over in such conditions. So we may have the island and its supplies all to ourself. But we'll keep vigilant and we'll keep an eye out for any suspicious activity. If these militia types had a boat I can't imagine those pricks being brave enough to do the swim that I just did. Then maybe this would be a good base of operations to then attack the mainland and pillage my hometown of Electro. Its small sister village of Kamishovo. Which is just over the other side of the water as we look. This brings back memories. Summer trips with mam and dad. Fishing. Maybe we'll get all nostalgic in this bitch soon. Do a bit of fishing down by the coast. Another knife which is damaged. We already have them. Badly damaged clip the Ruger. We'll just take the ammunition out of it. A couple of shots. Should have automatically gone into my pile. No, it hasn't. Uh, we've got a full pile there. We'll just top that up. Save my battery when we go back outside. 
Any of those filthy creepers lurking? A few of them probably did get trapped on this side of the water. Hunting stands. Could be a good shout for the ammunition types we need. We can get this car 98 broken. Then we've got a weapon to be feared with a bit of range. But we'll take our carbine with a scope and a shot for now. There's one of those fucking idiots. Have we got any chlorine tablets? I don't think we have. I don't think we've come across chlorine tablets yet. That's not a bad little find. Take a bit of damage. We can live with that. I'm gonna expose myself and the climb down. Die! Horrible bastard. Some extra matches for me. Because our lighter fluid is getting a bit low. Nope. Let's move along. There's a house down the end of this side of the island. Not too worried about food because fishing getting our belly fed, swimming back over, trying everything off again, and then taking command of this southeastern side of the map, which I know like the back of my hand, having grown up here for 29 years, give or take. The modus operandi of these bullies tends to be to stick around Chernogorsk and Electro and walk around with their weapons that are higher grade than your average survivor would have stumbled across. And they know they can do what they want with these people. Bullies they are. Bullies. At least when I murder a fisherman in cold blood, I know what I am. I can admit what I am. They wouldn't even have the guts to do that. Make sure no one's already hunkered down in this building. Creeper over there. Wearing the white of winter. These boots are better than what we've got because our boots are hanging off our feet and they are pristine. So that is a wonderful little find. Ooh. It's even better. A better magazine for our rifle with a shot or two in it. So now we've got a couple of shots in this beauty. Maybe we'll end up just ditching the car 98. No good to us with no ammunition. There's another fishing hook on this hat, which is worn. But having the three of them we don't need that one now. Then the three of them. Just gives us that luxury of having a few more attempts at catching fish when we get down and clear these houses and the lighthouse on the side of the map that looks out across to Cami. When the sun comes up, we'll probably be able to make out good old Electro. There might be a couple of fishing boats down here with a soda or a beer, or maybe even a maybe even a fourth book for us. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw some sort of camp though. Some some tents, maybe some crates.
But if all we do over here is get the supplies needed. Take our mission forward, then I would have deemed this as success. Is the lighthouse? Some people, some smugglers might have stashed some things behind the rocks. Keep an eye out. Can't see anything obvious. as we start to get cold. Fishing, cooking the fish, and getting warm again. Will be our sole purpose, our sole plan today. Taking control of this island and all its supplies. We get our feet a little bit wet, it won't matter. There's an actual fishing rod, which has got another hook on it, and that one is pristine. I'm going to carry this fishing rod. I'm not going to take it back over to the mainland with me. But if we can use it over here to fish without having to take our rope belt off, I don't really need a start kit. Another boonie hat. Fishing supplies over here, though. A man would eat well if he just took the opportunity, took the chance on Scalisti. Even in these conditions, make sure there are no fires, obvious fires burning in these buildings. I'm going to stash the fishing rod by here, come back for it after the lighthouse and after I've cleared this building. Can open is not essential to us. We're going to live off the land for the next day or so. Watch out for bear traps. This is hunter territory. Huntsman territory. like it has been placed there after someone upgraded their weapon, their Ruger, for a better rifle. I could be wrong. I'm going to trust my instincts and my initial calculation of what I've seen, trust my eyes, go with my gut. Looking for movements in the distance. Any silhouettes, any shadows that shouldn't be there. But we are going to brave the climb up to the top of the lighthouse. Let's see if we can get a view of the mainland as the sun rises. To the east of Chinaris. I'm sure no one's camped out in the shed. Conditioned head torch. It's a white head torch this time. We can live with that. We'll take it for its better condition, regardless of the color of its light. Someone's at the top of this now, ready to blow our head off, then. Could be a critical setback to our plan. I just hear the chicken. Another magazine, but this one's empty. Umpus we don't need. Take our time descending. We don't want to ruin our gloves. Not in these weather conditions. Pick our fishing rod up. Leave it over by the boats where we intend to fish. In 
go and check out those other couple of houses. Gotta say, even with a blanket of white death, Scalisti is a beautiful place. Get rid of those heat packs once we're settling down to do our fishing and our cooking. There's another building we will check over there. Before we make our way back to the mainland. Make sure I take a path that keeps me away from these creepers. Take a beer. We'll crack a beer. We'll raise a toast to mom and dad and all the good times we had over here as kids. <laughs> we just settle in by here for one second. Now, you see what I see. <laughs> Flare. Anyone's holding a gun on us from these buildings. We'd be in trouble. that to light our fire when we cook I'm gonna choose this building to cook in hope no one's home when I've got a flare in my hand okay. what have we got here a hiking jacket a hunting jacket to me. Let's clear out this building, the shed next to it. Got a pristine hatchet. <laughs> that was our melee. More improvements. More improvements to the cores. More chlorine tablets. It wasn't for that R rifle. Ooh. on the knife, a bad scope, we've already got a good scope, use our old knife to cut up this shirt and add it to the pile of rags we already had, we had four on us for emergencies, we'll knock that up to six, ditch that. Take these for kindling, for our fire. We don't need to drink at the well. Oh, we will actually. We will. Why not? Why not? Kindling. Firewood. Right outside. Of 
a fish in our belly and we'll be ready to carry on our journey. We're going to do this for old time's sake, for mom and dad. They loved it here. Now. We'll need to defrost that. We can leave our stove there. Doesn't matter if any of this ammunition or sewing kits or anything gets temporarily wet. We can't carry water with us anyway. So we'll just have a big sip before we start fishing. Get hydrated. Wounds. To put on our actual hooks, we can then attach to our actual fishing rod to try and get ourselves a couple of mackerels. Preparation. A lot of ship went down in Berezino. a fairly quiet time of things in preparation for what's to come might not be such a bad thing that one hook baited the other hook ready Turn the light off so we're not so obvious. Got one straight away. That one's for you, man. Let's see if we can get one for Dad. Oh, you taught me well, Dad. You taught me well. for these back inside. Do all the prep out of the elements. The mackerel, a beer to raise a toast. Could be our last meal. But what's potentially to come in Electro and maybe beyond in Chernogorsk? Indeed, be our last meal. Let's prepare these fish just the way Dad taught me.
actually take them with you a lot easier. <laughs> as well, maybe we eat two. Take two. We still got the knack. Not first attempt today. Second attempt, Mike. No. Third time lucky. Dear, dear, dear. Glad I picked this flare up now. Would have been wasting a lot of matches and a lot of lighter fluid. Just triple check something if this fails. Something Dad taught me. Right. My kindling's not wet. Now we're going. No, we're not. What's going on with this damn fire? Got it. Cook it. Literally. In the dark. In Scalisti. Just me and my thoughts and this dictaphone. Cows in the field. Looks like the old electro church from back home. The start is we need to go on. It's for you, Dad, wherever you are. Ma'am. Tony. In memory of Pat. Terry and Anthony Thomas. I'll be with you soon, guys. a couple, take a couple with me, they will probably freeze over when we swim back over, but we will need a fire when we get to the other side to dry off anyway, and I can defrost them then. cabin that I know about. The one on the far side. Before positioning myself ready for the swim back over. I'll then record my intentions on my third tape. When we're over on the other side fully prepared. I'll start scouting out Cami. Yeah, it's just shitty. Keep keep eating. That's all. 
My gut tells me I don't want any more. Temptation to catch more fish, but... Yeah, I thought he would have had enough around about then. and then I will probably decide what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do with that car 98. I don't think I want it weighing me down if I haven't got any ammunition and now I've got a couple of shots for my carbine which has a pristine scope. Maybe we can give Mr. Mongolia a tickle with a 7x3 9 up his ass. I bet he'd like that. This might be slightly trickier than usual in the dark to find this cabin. We've got our headlight. We've got a spare battery for it. If things go south, we lose the juice. Probably should be rocking the rifle in these trees in case... Somebody's creeping. Little do they know, they're the ones that should be scared of bumping into me. In the middle of the trees, in the middle of the night. playing tricks with my eyes, tricks with my mind. Need to reassess where I'm at, what I've got when we get to this cabin. If I can find the, the blasted thing in the dark, we should be okay. You know, here enough times. Where you at? Cabin in the woods. There you are. Just make out its rectangular silhouette in the backdrop of the snow. Let's go in with the P1. Seem to like them over here. And a banged up hunting knife. Let's reassess. And that's how I envisaged. Any bandits, any raiders, any militia that wanted to use this as a base of operations. That's how they'd be creeping over. I think I recognize that green mustache house. Could be just off the coast of Prig. There's that cathedral again. Okay. Try and focus, Michael. My mind's wandering. Scribbled some notes. Okay. 
That's got to go. Weighing us down too much. We have one in the chamber. And I believe... One. Yeah. Just the one shot then. So two shots. For our carbine. couple of fish fillets to take with us. We have some chlorine tabs to take with us and a better knife. Steak knife is now damaged. We've got a full stack of rags now. A few fishing hooks. Three there. More bits of ammo. Mid torch battery on its way out. We do have another nearly full one there. We got this other fishing hook here, so that's four fishing hooks. So we did already have a can opener. Our lighter's on its way out, though. We got 15 matches down there, so we've got to be careful on, about that. Medication and everything as it was. We've improved on this hatchet. We could probably make space in our inventory by losing this badly damaged steak knife. Just having that little spare bit of space, and then we'll have space when we eat our fish. Our Ruger, still damaged. Thought that was full. I did clip one zombie with it, didn't I? Let's fill it back up. Don't need that one spare. Just leave the space. Let's go back the way we intend. Start our swim back over as a blizzard starts. So we are 100%, 1000%. Gonna need a beautiful fire when we get over the other side. Warm our clothes, dry our clothes, warm ourselves again. And I might, might, even attempt to take a torch over with me on the swim. I've got a burning torch on my back, protruding from the water. Then we may be able to keep an element of the heat with us. Full six rags. Is it overkill? Maybe. Will we get it going first time? Nope. That's our lighter done. Is a dab. Okay. So we are not going to be taking a torch over with us. How were my matches damp when I had them in my dry bag? I ask myself. Okay, Michael. Gotta think like Dad would have thought now. I know you're more of a risk taker than he was. But he wouldn't attempt this in the dark. 
with no guaranteed way of lighting a fire on the other side. You would at least wait for the storm to subside. And then at least make the swim when visibility is improved. So I'm going to camp out in here and see the rest of the night out before continuing on my journey. When we get over the, to the other side Things might start to get rough. No ability to make a drill kit until there. How are they damp when they're in a dry bag? Answers on a postcard, please. This is Michael Thomas, ending tape two. It's about to end tape three. If I haven't died of pneumonia, will see me on the other side. And I'll start recording my endeavors to this dictaphone as we approach my own old stamping ground of Kami Shovo and my hometown of Electro. This is Michael Thomas on the 19th of April, 2023. End of message.